Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can optimize images in your Next.js application. Or in simply, you can say, we are going to learn about Next.js image component. This is a powerful tool that helps you to optimize images in Next.js application. It automatically optimize your images for performance, which helps your landing pages to load very fastly than the standard image tag. And obviously in result, the users of your website gain a better user experience. This component automatically handle lazy loading, responsive images, and even it supports modern web for, uh, images formats like WebP. So without any delay, let's get started. First of all, you can see this is a basic Next.js project and this is my page.tsx component. So we will learn how we can import this component. So I will type here import image. I will be in uppercase and simply I will press enter. So you need to import this image component from next image. And then here I will simply use this same as we use a component. Okay. So simply I will type here image like this it have four attributes that are required uh, if you will not use them you will get an error the first attribute is the source that where our image exists i will also tell you how you can use the images that are not on your server but later so first of all you can see my image is inside my public folder i have already downloaded an image from the internet and paste this in my public folder maybe you have another folder inside your public folder this is totally up to you but i have pasted this image inside my root directory uh, the image name is garden.jpg so what i'm going to do here simply i will type here double quotes forward slash and then you need to name your image so my image name is garden.jpg uh, maybe if you have any image folder so you can name this Im ref uh, give reference to your image folder like this if you have in your public folder but in my case this is not so i will simply uh, type here garden .j. and then i will type here the alternative text it means if the image will unable to load or maybe if someone will delete the image from here what image tag will display it okay so let me type here a uh, beautiful flower image so this tag is also very important for screen readers or especially for seo okay so you need to write a very keyword friendly text here inside the alt attribute and then we left two attributes the first one is the width for instance i'm going to give width 400 and then i'm going to give the width a height for instance uh 400 okay okay now let me run this application so i can show you the output i will open the built-in terminal in my wheel studio code and type here npm run dev you can control click on this then this link will be open in your default browser so you can see that our image is displaying on our screen okay so if you will miss any of the attribute for instance if you say i do not need to give height let me go back say and save this you can see that you will receive an error that image with source this is missing required attribute height so this is very important to give all the attributes okay next friends i want to talk about the image optimization in next yes okay so which is very very important topic so the first step is the good news is the image component automatically optimize your image so what does it mean for instance let's just talk about lazy loading so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a div here uh, with class mb like five inside this div i'm going to type here a paragraph with lorem ipsum text and here i will give a class to this like i want to give a margin bottom class to this so let me give a margin bottom of two uh 2600 pixels okay basically i am going to teach you about lazy loading so you can see that we do nothing we simply use this image uh, component of next.js and it automatically lazy load your images so you can see that image is not found here because we have give a very large margin bottom to this paragraph first of all let me inspect this and click open this network tab so you can see that currently the image that we have used is not loaded to our web page but once user will scroll down you need to look at here you will find a request let me scroll down user scroll down user is reading the article maybe his um, view your landing page but once he will nearly reach to the image you can see that the it automatically send a request a get request to my server and load the image so you can see that friends so this is called lazy loading it means initially once your page will be loaded next yes will not going to load this image but uh, to 
it will help to faster page load okay so but once user will start reading the art article and before reaching to the viewport it will send a request and then it will load the images so you can see that this is the first benefit that it automatically lazy load your images so obviously this is very uh this is optimize the performance of your web page and the second benefit is obviously this is a second technique but this is again next image component automatically doing this and what it does if your browser will support the web webp format it automatically it will convert this image to a webp format let me show you if i right click and if i click on save images you can see that it is saying garden.webp so it have converted my jpeg image my image was garden.jpeg it have already automatically converted this image to a webp format so what does it means obviously it automatically optimize your image in the form of format because we know that png images are very larger so to faster loading loading these images it automatically optimize this next i'm going to talk about the layout in Next.js, okay, uh, in Next.js image. So for instance, first of all, let me comment this paragraph. I will type here layout, okay. And let's suppose we have this is our image container and its width is, uh, let's suppose 400 pixel and its height, for instance, is 200 pixel, 200 pixel. So now we have four possible values inside our layout. The first one is, let me directly type here. The first one is, intrinsic so this is the default value so what does it means for instance if our image width is 1000 still image will automatically scale up itself to fit in its container so you can see that it have keep its ratio but its width is not exceeding the width that we have defined to our parent div so if we define here 500 you can see that but if we define here 1000 here so now you can see that the image is scaling so this is the default value but for instance if you the second value is responsive so again this is the same it means the image will scale to fit its container width so our container width is uh, 1000 so that image will automatically scale itself to 1000 so this value is not using but this width which is the container of our image is using and this next property is very uh, important which is fixed and now for instance it have three pixel of width okay for fixed the image will have a fixed width and height okay but uh, the last value is very important which is fill okay let me show you so you can see that if you will define the fill value you you will require to remove this width and height because you cannot use the both either you can use the width or height or either you can use layout fill now you can see that it it have fill out the layout but if you will uh, define a parent to a relative class like relative and uh, for instance you give width to 600 pixel and height to only 100 pixel so you can see that it is the image is totally fill out using height wise and using width wise to its container so this was the layouts in Next.js image component next i'm going to talk about for instance the image is not exist in your public folder and maybe is coming from a cdn or coming from the internet so how you're going to handle this so first of all i will open the google and i will search here nature images parrot and you can see that this is a parrot image so simply let me copy image link I'm going to copy this image link and paste here okay so you can see that this is our simple image if you notice our domain name is i.pinimage.com but first of all let me directly copy this url and paste this inside the source attribute and let's see what happened i will remove this here from here and let me uncomment this and you can see that we are getting an error why because we need to set up this domain i.pingimage.com inside our next config so first of all I have already opened the next.config.ts so this uh, file exists in the root level of our project in next project and here you can see that you need to define an images key inside the next uh, configuration variable and inside this we you will create a domains key okay and here I have already added another domain name so I will use i.ping.image so you need to paste this object in such a way first of all you will type images and inside this object you will again create another array with name domains and here you will type the domain name which is i.pin 
image.com and now once you will save this and you will refresh so you can see that your image is loading successfully so this is how you can use the images that are not existing on your public folder or maybe these are existing on another cdn or another place on the internet so friends that's it you now now you know how to use next next.js image component to optimize your images and perform improve the performance of your application if you found this helpful don't forget to like subscribe and check out my other videos about react.js on my youtube channel happy coding and thanks for watching